<laughs> um, what's it? What, what's been the biggest learning experience for you so far? You know, being a first year out there. Um, definitely just. Uh, the environment and actually being out there you know it's definitely a lot different than practice mm -hmm. you know you see stuff that you didn't prepare for always and you know just you know obviously in practice you don't play in front of 70 thousands the environment is just completely different you know your nerves are a little bit going just actually being out there and getting ready for the games uh, what was Arizona like? I mean, those guys were, I would classify them as speed rushers yeah they, they were, were that's, they were that was fast their strength. Uh, they were, they were like you said, uh, speed rushers uh, most of the time. Um, they were good. The crowd was uh, loud out there. It was uh, a really good environment for them. Um, and they also played really hard and gave us their best shot. Do you feel like, um, I'm sorry, I was going to say, following up on Arizona, they flipped the ends in once in a while. They would give you different looks right. on the line. I mean, when that stuff's happening, can you talk about, we talk about obviously getting the calls down the line when a play's called, but when you're looking at something different, how quickly does it move? Does the game speed up? Uh, you know, definitely. You know, you got to be real quick with your thinking, you know, especially when, you know, there's stuff that you didn't initially prepare for but you thought that they might bring you know you need to go back in your mind and think okay this is you know this is who I've got right now um, it, it definitely goes real quick you got to be ready for it um, how much time does coach Ferrin spend with the tackles I think he's uh, he, not yeah, really he, specializes but yeah he, he, spends some time with uh, he uh, coaches us specifically I think him and coach Morgan they uh, split up some of the duties during practice he takes the inside guys coach Ferrin takes the tackles a little bit on uh, some individual stuff. What's that like? What, what, what is he telling you specifically? Uh, he's, you know, had, he's worked with some good guys. I mean, yeah, John Lanagan yeah. and all that stuff. Absolutely. Uh, you know, basically, uh, some of the similar stuff that Coach Morgan tells us, you know, it, I think it's just easier to manage if you split it half and half as opposed to one big oh, group. Yeah. 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 So, uh, you know, pretty much similar, like, technique things that Coach Morgan would pretty much emphasize as well. Can it be humbling sometimes, you know, because Coach Francis, like I said, he's seen a lot of really yeah, good ones. Uh, it, it definitely is an honor playing for Coach Ferentz and especially, uh, you know, getting specific coaching from him just like that, you know, when there's, especially when he's only coaching about, you know, five, six guys at the tackles, you know, it's it's definitely an honor and uh, definitely love being coached by him. Uh, Iowa tackles did pretty well last year in the draft. I mean, yeah, they did. Uh, do you feel that? I mean, do you feel like there's a tradition that you're, that you're, um, you're I, I think that here we have a tradition of great alignment, period. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, you know, and it's just an honor to, play here and to be one of like to be included in the group of uh, an Iowa offensive lineman. Is there pressure to uh, uh, kind of uphold it and you know th there's not as much pressure as just um, you know it's an honor and you just want to live up to it. It's it's not really pressure. It's just something that you just want to come out and play hard every day. Mm -hmm. And you and uh, Riley couldn't be and I asked you this before from two diff totally different. Yeah. I mean, would you classify yourself a Chicagoan from where you're uh, John, yeah, John, yeah, right? Uh, Arlington Heights. Arlington Heights. Okay. Arlington Heights. Yeah. Um, yeah. I like to consider myself a Chicagoan. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. You know, not quite from the city, but uh, right. You know, close Who's from the city. Right. <laughs> Who's from the city? Anymore. Um, and then he's. From, have he, have he's, has he talked to you much about his hometown? I mean, it's yeah. Parkston, oh, I know right? about uh, parks in South Dakota. What, what is it? What is? What? They, they shoot a lot of pheasants there. A lot of pheasant hunting. <laughs> a lot of pheasant hunting, and uh, definitely small. Very small, small, very yes. small town. It, it, uh, has he asked you about your home? I mean, what you do? I, uh, yeah. You sound bit. like you're a Sox fan. You sound like you got a little bit of a Southsider accent. Um, not, not really a Sox fan. Not okay. Lot of you, but uh, okay. Yeah, yeah. I tell him a little bit about you know some high school days, some stuff like that. You know. Yeah, you guys want to state title. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. You know, talking on TV about, and all that too. Yeah. You know, I obviously played in a school much bigger than his, and you know, just bigger than his town. Yeah. Pretty much. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, I'll just talk about a little bit about that. What does he counter with? I don't know. He he he, he, he just thinks that uh, all the suburban kids are uh, soft, and I think that he's soft. <laughs>